What's up guys and welcome back to the channel, Shane here and we're at the Red Bull Ring with our F1 2015 career modded mode. Now we only made a big deal out of that because someone commented on the last video saying hey this is an F1 2015 I was like no it's not, it's a mod and I've detailed that throughout the whole series, well all three videos so far, this being the fourth video, but hey we're at Austin, we're at the Red Bull Ring and uh, yeah this is one of my favourite tracks ever, uh, the AI are quite slow around it which is probably why it's my favourite track but I still like the way it, the car handles around this track. It's, once you get into a groove, you can just go plain sailing the whole way. No chance of rain, so it's going to be a pretty standard race. I'm not sure where we qualified. Let's have a quick look. P14, that's not too bad. So we should have a fresh set of tyres on at the moment. So, uh, oh, Fernando Alonso back in P18. Not, not really doing the team good. He should be up with me a little bit. Anyway, as I said, one of my favourite tracks. Not just because the AI is slow. It's because I absolutely love it. So like, without further ado, it's five red lights and away we go. That's really, that was actually a really long red lights. Anyway, so we're off. And uh, we get a really terrible start, but not to worry because the traction kicks in. We put it up into rich mix. We're going to try and get as many places as we can. Remember, the realistic damage mod is installed. As you can hear, front wings going everywhere. We gain two, three, four, four places going into that corner. We're right behind Felipe Naza. Can we get the slipstream? Yes, we do. We go around the outside with the rich fuel. Perez is harvesting the RS and Ricardo almost cuts him off. We're going to outbreak every single person just behind Nico Rosberg beside Massa. We touch ever so slightly, but we give him the space. He's gone out in front and the engine's running a little bit hot. I say a little bit hot. The engine's running very hot now. We're still behind Massa. Can we get the dive bomb going into this corner? We have a look on the right hand side, yes we do, we stick up the inside, we don't want any more contact, we take it very cautiously, we're leaving room on the left hand side of the track and it looks like we've got the job done and the engineer radios us, congratulating us on a, uh, on a fantastic overtake. In front of us is Nico Rosberg, I believe Lewis Hamilton is winning the race and I can't see for the life of me who's in second place, that looks like a white car so that could be Bottas in there, I'm not entirely sure, might have to have a look at the classification. Will it change? I don't think it will. It'll only do a player in front of us and a player behind us. But that's not bad. From 14th to 4th in the uh, in the opening lap, and that last corner there, you can take really fast. The uh, penultimate corner, you can take really fast, shifting down twice. Look, first Hamilton, third Rosberg. I want to know who's second. It does look like a white car, so that's probably Bottas. But going on to that last corner again, you can break it ever so slightly, and you will you probably lock up if you break and turn at the same time going down that corner. It's downhill gradient as well, so you will lock up. But let's get back to the action. We're literally half a lap into, not even half that, we're a quarter of the lap into uh, lap two now. Just going across the, the end of for sector one. And it looks like we're right on the back of uh, Nico Rosberg. Not had the best of starts because he started, he's in now in third place. But we have a look on the inside. Do we get it done? Breaking quite late. Nico Rosberg's on hold on the outside, left hand side. Does he give up? It looks like he does. He's right behind us. The proximity arrow has gone. And as you can see by the mini map, I, uh, he's right behind me and it is Bottas in front of us who's going really slow into this corner we're losing in the dirty air, we're losing quite a lot of traction so we need to maintain our position, maintain track using all the track and some more to try and get that extra speed and we might have a cheeky look down the inside here we go over to the right hand side, we break, we let him through, we do the last thing we want to do is cause a collision engine is running so hot, we have been running full revs for the last two laps now and in two laps we've gained 12 places can we get the run on Valtteri Bottas going into this yes we do before we even get to the end of the corner we make a diving move and we're there cut the corner ever so slightly okay we cut the corner a little bit we got a warning not to worry though it looks like Nico Rosberg and Bottas have got their own problems now they're uh, fighting with each other I've just said the fastest lap of the race which uh, isn't really much because they're on our second lap and we are right behind Lewis Hamilton who again not the best of starts with the two Mercs not really making much distance. We are one point, let's have a look, 1.068 seconds, I believe that's what it says. Sorry, my Sony Vegas monitor is tiny at the moment. So we are we are less than almost a, just about a second behind uh, Lewis Hamilton. So not the best start from him. Usually he buzzes off into the distance with Nico Rosberg, but we're managing to uh, to maintain pace. But we were on Rick's mix, obviously. I've just popped it down to standard, so hopefully we can get and maintain his pace. The tyres are going a little bit cold in the back there, which is interesting. We lock the front left, going into this long left-hander. Again, this track is so fast. It's a very fast track, very small and fast track. So it wouldn't surprise me if we lap a car going in, well, like doing the 18 laps here. 18 laps, crikey, that's quite a lot. I didn't realise that when I did the race. But no, it's very easy to lock up here because there's a lot of long bending corners with tight exits. So those tight exits require you to break. If you break on a corner, it's not going to go good. We've got DRS. We are now 0.7 seconds behind Lewis Hamilton. And look how much we catch him up in that corner. Lewis took a snail's pace through that. He might as well pass on the apex we've got a brilliant slipstream out here we're going to take it to the right we go on the grass ever so slightly which has compromised our speed we're going to overtake him 
I don't sure why I didn't dive it up the inside, but we take it around the outside. Do we hold it around the outside? No, we don't. We're still behind him. We've got DRS. Surely, surely we should be able to get past him now. Almost losing the rear end as we activate the DRS and weave left and right. We go to the left. Can we get anything done? We're going to take on the outside. Yes, we do. He breaks early. We break later. We've compromised our line. We take it around the outside, and that is the pass into first place, everybody. Here we are approaching the first corner and it looks like we've locked up, we've locked up our front right, completely missing the apex. We've just hit Lewis Hamilton on the right hand side and he's regained first place everybody. So all that work we've just done is undone. But not to worry, we are going to try and stick behind Lewis Hamilton and see what we can do. Do we outbreak him into this corner? No we don't, we get a tyre over the white line which causes us a little bit to lock up but nothing too dramatic. Bottas is behind us at the moment and Lewis is in front of us, not much of a difference. Going on to the end of lap 6 now, starting on lap 7, Rosberg is behind us, uh, Bottas has dropped back and Lewis is still in front of us. He's uh, he's left the DRS activation zone open, so uh, we we aren't in that we are we aren't in that activation zone basically. So we don't have a chance to take catch him. So as you guys saw by the previous cut, the tyres are not in a good state. They're bright orange or bright yellow, whatever colour you want to say, and uh, they're not doing very good at all. We're losing loads of grip. And Lewis has just dived into the pits, and now we're going to put the fuel up to Rich and get the best in lap there is possible, and hopefully jump him in the pits. Cutting on to the next lap now, end of lap eight. We're going to try and, as you can see, yeah, there's the tyres. Not great. The rears are really quite red, so we're going to lose a lot of traction going into here. Breaking nice and early, trying to keep it within the white lines. I know going into this corner, we pop a tyre onto the grass, which doesn't matter too much. Revving up until we hit the uh, sp auto speed killer thingy majiggy. And uh, it's quite a long run into the pits in the car and bot just after the Ferraris, I do believe. There we go. In we go. 3.7 seconds would be absolutely wonderful. And 3.7 seconds it is. And I think that was Lewis Hamza, which has already gone past. Really? Damn. I would have thought that would have been him there, but if that's Lewis Hamilton all the way up the road, we've done something terrible in the outlap, and I just haven't noticed. Oh no! Saints Jr. is out in second place. I don't even know where the standings are now. Is that Lewis behind us? That's Lewis Hamilton behind us, everybody. Lewis Hamilton is in P4, and we are in P3, so we're an effective P1 at the moment. Uh, not doing too well on the brakes there, locking up ever so slightly. And now we're going to jump to uh, lap 11 and just see what the second split is between me and Lewis. Lewis is right behind me actually, you can just see the proximity arrow, so it's less than a second. He's going to use DRS to try and overtake. Doesn't get it done because he pushes out of the first corner as usual. But anyway, cutting on to the end of lap 14 now. Something goes really wrong. We get quite a good exit out of the middle sector. Once your tyres are worn in a bit and you get like a less fuel, you can do that at full speed and really chuck the car left and right. Lewis has done a have a look on the inside. We lose under braking. We didn't really brake on it. We, I, I felt the car lock up and I tried to brake and it locked so I just let it roll. Sometimes that's the best thing you can do. It's Lewis Hamilton's on the left hand side. There he is in his Mercedes W06 or 05, I can't remember which version it is. And he's right in front of us. We, go, we take up the inside. We both go, we both go really, really slow and someone has lost their wings. So let's get a replay of that. So we've got Lewis on our left hand side and Nico's right behind us and Nico just outbreaks himself and goes into the back of Lewis Hamilton and has lost his end plate. So Nico Rosberg's not done the best of jobs already. Anyway, onto the lane of lap 15. Can we hold it together through the final corner? Final two corners actually. Yes we can. I actually mentioned at the beginning of the video, didn't I, how hard those two corners are on like light fuel and when your tyres are a little bit worn trying to not lock up and that's exactly what I did. Missing the apex a little bit there, make sure we don't get a corner cut penalty, but we can run off the track there, which is absolutely fine. Anyway, end of lap 16, not 6, definitely not lap 6. We're still in front of Lewis, he wants to have a look. Oh my goodness, we've got Nico Rosberg on the inside, Lewis on the left hand side. We're going to go around the corner, I have no idea who's come out on top. They've both gone really slow down that road, and we've got, we must have pulled out a second and a half already. Yes, we are over a second ahead of Lewis Hampton. This is the final corner. Can he hold it together? And hits in the apex, I have to say, perfectly. Just coming up to a lap car now. But it doesn't matter because we have won at the Red Bull Ring. And you know what, guys? 
in all seriousness, I, I really, really, really enjoyed that race because it was competitive from start to finish. I was constantly battling with Lewis over and over again. He made some brilliant overtakes. I made some mistakes which gave him chances. It was just really good to battle with the AI and that's what I really hope for F1 2015. On that note, pop in your comments down below what you want to hear and what you want to see in F1 2015 and what you're looking forward to. So that's what the Drivers' Championship looks like at the moment. I am two points behind Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg is only one point behind me. Never mind. We shall hopefully we shall hopefully win the Drivers' Championship and end this season on a high, ready for F1 2015. Thank you guys for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. Pop in your comments down below and I shall see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.